In this video, we're going to find the inverse Laplace of this. So to do this, there's a trick. Basically, here you have s plus 1, and here there's an s. So just from doing lots of problems, um, you come to the conclusion that you can do something like this. It'd be really nice if you could make this an s plus 1. So what you do is you write s plus 1, s plus 1 squared, and then you take it away. Okay, this just comes up a lot. This is something that you, you do over and over again. And you say, why would you do this? Well, we can't find the inverse of plus of this, but we can find the inverse of plus of this. Because this is going to cancel, it's going to give us 1 over s plus 1. We can easily do that with one of the formulas. And then likewise, we can take the inverse of plus of this. So that's the idea behind the strategy. Basically, it's to get rid of this s, because this s is a problem. If it was just a 1, we could do a shift and we can work through it using some formulas. But because it's written in this way, we need to get rid of the s. So you add 1 and subtract 1, and you get here. So now there's a couple formulas we can use. Recall if you have the Laplace, the inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus a, that's going to give you e to the at. So that's what we'll do in this case here. Here it's s minus negative 1 because it's a plus, so it'll be e to the negative t. Minus, here we're going to perform a shift just so we can do the problem. So this is the inverse of plus. So we don't have a formula for 1 over s plus 1 squared, but we do have one for 1 over s squared. So what we do is we write 1 over s squared, and we do a shift. We go from s to s plus 1. That's called the first translation theorem when you do a shift like this. This is going to turn into an exponential in the next step. So this is e to the negative t minus, and we need a formula for this too, lots of formulas in this problem, the inverse Laplace of n factorial over s to the n plus 1 is equal to t to the n. So here it's 1 factorial over s squared, so it's just going to give us t to the 1. This will be t, and this turns into a shift. Remember, if you shift from s to s minus a, it gives you e to the at. Here we're going from s to s plus 1, so it's going to give us e to the negative t, because it's really s to s minus negative 1. So that's your a. And that, my friends, would be the final answer to this problem. I went through it kind of quickly. Uh, hopefully uh, it made sense. And once you see this a couple times, you just look at it and you just know exactly how to do it. So again, if you have something like this, just add 1 and subtract 1. Like if you had, say, inverse Laplace of s, s plus 2 to the 4th, same idea, right? You would add 2 and subtract 2 and go through the same process and do some shifts. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.